Hello and welcome back to episode 28 of Let's Play Mad. Today we're gonna continue with Mad Saga but we're gonna do much much cooler spells. So I hope, I all I have is the around this 10,000 mana, hopefully this will be enough. So let's get into it. Before I start making the spell that I want, I wanna just talk about something here. There is a spell, uh, there is something called the Ley Lines where when you see it, you when you go to that place, they spawn stuff, uh, Fae and also you can get more mana by being in that place. So I would recommend if you're ever gonna live somewhere and you want and you like Matsukai to live somewhere there. So to see that you will need a specific spell that you will need to see. need face sight or mystic eyes. Yeah, mystic eyes, mystic eyes of mine. Yeah, it's mystic eyes then. Uh, that I, when you see that spell, I already have made one of these spells before when I was farming mana. Oh, when I was farming mana. Here. It's called scroll of mystic eye of the face side. That's the one. So when you do see when you do have that face side I want to just give you a quick Here you see these lines here that you will see all over the map You will be able to see that these lines link to a specific area in the middle and that specific area Will give you more mana and this depending on how much you have on your present as you see a creeper here came and blew me up blew this area and I lost some of the mana but yeah and also you can see here the fae where you can kill it and get fae essence which will be stronger for you to make scrolls with it or to make small things in the mod so it's just something quick here now let's get into the mod now I wanna there's a lot of spells all of them are really cool I'm not gonna go through one spell by one or spell or anything this is a lot more like a just need specific spell. So the first spell I want to make is the sword, the clearing, and this is one of the coolest swords ever. So let's make the sword. And I'm a little bit away from my home because this sword will do something. So let's start. So draw. It's two diamond and one emerald. And this this spell will take so much from. Me. As you can see, this spell will start draining mana from me and making this motor so if i build that here it will just the water will be leaking the whole time and that should be it it's done now you see when i'm going inside the colors change now if i there is another spell here that should allow me to where is it yeah uh, there was another spell that you can go to a place where it has is filled with enchanted uh, items but you, so to get the sword you need to throw an enchantment sword here i'm just gonna throw a normal enchanted sword and you, as you can see that took 5000 mana but we get it we got the sword now all now mobs will fear me mobs will fear me that's one of the cool effects of that sword mobs will not attack me and there's other cool thing now let's continue now also i want to make the second thing i want to make is the weapon projection which is okay so that's two diamond and one gold so let's make that two diamond wait what did i say two diamonds weapon two diamond and one and two wait will that need a cloth i think that would need a cloth Projection cloth required. Give me that back. Get the cloth where here, and then build that two diamond, one go, and give me that. So that spell is here. I made this spell uh, this spell before by, by mistake. If we use the spell, that should give us that weapon projection. This this guy thing can shoot weapons look like i'm shooting my axe i'm shooting next to me the back and it deals a lot of it deals the damage like you're shooting that group that's a really cool one okay actually now we can go back yeah, go back on i'll just move back down okay so how much mana do we have we have four thousand okay now let's make one of the big guns now let's make one of the big guns Staff of explosive mana, two gold and one diamond. A cloth required. Okay. Okay. Gold. And let's just don't want to waste materials. Two, two gold and one diamond. Give. 
It's called of explosive mana. Okay. Give me the stuff, please. And we have that. Okay. I will not show this spell right now because I don't have mana. Because that one of these spells cost 5,000 just per use. So, 5,000 mana. Uh, I'm too poor for that. I have only 200 max mana. So, let's not go crazy for now. Okay, I will. I'll just build another circle and I also want we'll try all of these spells later I, I'm not gonna I'm gonna try them all play with them around okay so let's get our book back now also I want this, the other staff here two gold and one ender okay was it ender or I have the ender let's see uh, ender gold and one ender let's move the staff back and give me that. Okay, so we have the staff of presentation. This one is like uh, more magic, -y. like the one that shoots people, I think. Okay. Now, what else I want to make? So some of these spells are more like you're gonna use them with the, like you're gonna use them with the mystic code usually. Like there is one here that I love, I like a lot. But it's more like a cup of the heaven. This one gives you a really good buff. So yeah, you can go that. And the flare, the sound of flare, that's a for sure ability for me. With play with it as a summoner. But I'm not gonna look into that that much. Okay, what else I wanted to make? Yeah, I wanted to make. We did the weapon. I want the treasure. Yeah, treasure projection. Two diamonds and one powered eye. Okay. Uh, let's see cloth or no cloth. That's not the right one. Treasury with data. Yeah. Uh, cloth required two diamond and one. Put the cloth. And uh, two diamond. One eye of the. Give me that. Okay, and we have the treasury gauntlet. Uh, okay, and we'll gonna get test all of it, play around with all of these in a bit. Okay, now that was that was it. Did I want to make? No. Okay, that's mainly all of the spells that I want to make. Now I'm gonna go and try most of them, but I don't think I'll have enough mana to try most of them. We'll just see how which one I can try. I'll I'll go for the something like the gauntlet first. So that's that could be easy. I'll just move. I need a chest and then we'll move to try the gun. Okay, so let's see if we can try the gun. So the gauntlet you need to like uh, Make it uh, go to a chest or Okay, it's going for my ender chest. I guess it's using my ender chest already Wait, why is it using my ender chest? I don't want I guess it's linked to my chest and my inventory so that this one is like more of like it Could be related to a chest or anything and you can shoot Start shooting weapons. It's more similar to that other one, the one for the key. But oh my god, look at the map! But it's more similar to the uh, key here. But this one is different because this one uses gun weapons that you have, and it deals damage with them. So it's more. It's a little bit stronger. Actually, it's a lot stronger depending on the weapons you have. But you have to have the weapons in to begin with. Okay. So that's for the. What else I want to try to play with? Oh, explosive one. Okay, I'm just gonna say this. Just, just say it. I'm not gonna. Use it. Uh, the main spell for it is that you right click and you see this beam, and I'm stopping right now. This beam and the area is gonna rain, and when I use it, I'll need five thousand mana to use it. That will cost me so much mana, but that will just make the biggest explosion ever. So I'm not gonna use that. There's the AOE version, where you just like shoot small beams, and the last version is the beam version. Basically, you just shoot this laser. Ah, okay, and that's it. I drained my mana. You need 1000 for each tick and you shoot later and you destroy everything. So <laughs> that's mainly it. Now, thinking of like now, since this uh, let's play is coming to an end and Mahou Sakai was, I should have, I should have really started with Mahou Sakai from the beginning because I don't have the mana to play around with Mahou Sakai. But, and it's coming to an end, so it it's not really a great idea for me to keep farming for Mahou Sakai mana for now. 
So I'm just gonna stick with the spill. Just I stuck with like the main big things for mods, okay? But that's about it. I'm not gonna focus on other things. But like one of the main, one of the things that I would recommend in Mao Tsukai, like or something I will always do, that whenever I play Mao Tsukai again in any mod pack that I'm ever gonna make or play in, Mao Tsukai should be the first spell mod to play. But you're not gonna focus on Mao Tsukai. All you're gonna do is do two things: do any spells so you appear, their mana appear and make an attuned diamond or an attuned emerald, and just keep storing mana in it, and then make a circuit every time you can and save mana in it. And the reason for that is that you don't care about saving the mana, it's more about increasing your uh, maximum. Because like, if, uh, let's say around each 100 mana you, you, you consume, you get one maximum or even more than that. So it's, you don't get really that much mana, so I would just recommend going for that. Okay, now the last thing that you can I can play around in here is the Kuda, Kudoka, which is a small worm here that you can summon and it's a very big curse magic key theme but i can't play around with it sadly in this not back because this is more of a multiplayer uh, curse you curse people you defend yourself from curses and it's all sympathetic magic and so i can't really play around with it so it's really sad but i can't so yeah but that's it anyways so this is basically all the things that i wanted to do in mahatsukai I kind of rushed it, but I can't really do much because the mana takes forever to charge. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thank you for watching. Bye!